Welcome back, Pac-12 Football Media Days. Can we just talk about the shoes right away? <laughs> no, sir, I don't even. I'm like, this is this is excellent. It's just something I pulled out the closet. That's uh, oh, just yeah. something. There's something you pulled. It just closed your eyes and pulled those out. Yeah, it's like second wear. Yeah. Uh, Shador Sanders, Travis Hunter. It is good to have you guys here with us Thank at you. Media Day. And I do want to start on a serious note and and check in on your father and your pops. How's he doing? Have you oh, talk to good. him. Yeah, he's doing good. I talked to him. Okay. Yeah, everything's good. How's media day been for you guys? Been a long day, man. It's really, it been real long. We answered probably like the same question probably like 30 times. Oh, you saved all your best answers for last though, right? Right now? I know y'all cooking up some right now. <laughs> so we're just waiting on it right now. All right, we'll open up to the media then. If you have a question for the student athletes, please raise your hand and we'll bring a microphone over to you. We'll start here in the front left. Kenneth Barry, Touchdowns and Tangents Network. Two-part question for the both of you. Shadur, what makes you feel like you're not only one of the better quarterbacks in the Pac-12, but in the country? And secondly, when you guys are going at it in practice, what gets the team more hyped? Travis trying to pick you off or you throwing him a touchdown? Well, luckily right now, Travis is on my side. But whenever he's on the other side of the field, I definitely try to just go at him to work on my game too. So uh, to challenge the receivers, and if the receivers can't win versus him, how are they going to be able to win in the game? And then it, it just goes back and forth. So that's the beautiful thing about football is, okay, cool. If my receivers win against him, then he's going to work on his game, and it's just an ongoing chess match. And then what was, it, what was the other thing you said? What was the first thing? Yeah. Uh, I've been here before. I've been... Um, I always did the same thing, just on a different level. So this is just the first time y'all are actually able, all the cameras out, it's on a bigger stage, that I'm able to just perform and be myself. But uh, everything in this nature is 360 to me. We did it in Jackson, so we're just coming to Colorado and do it again. All right, we go to the back left here. Travis, if you, I'm sorry, my name is Marge Bonet from 4.0 Sports. This question is for Travis. If you had to pick right now, Offense or defense, what are you going to play? You only get one. No, nah, I'm not picking at all. <laughs> I got to play both. If he picked defense, I would have been mad at him. So <laughs> he wouldn't have got a ride home tonight. I'm curious for both of you guys. Um, you're big names in this massive sport, and you, I'm sure, see other people's expectations thrown on you all the time, whether it's where the team is picked, but more importantly, like you two. Heisman candidate, one of the best two-way players in the last 20 years of college football. Like, how, how do you deal with other people's expectations versus your own realities? I mean, you, I mean, you just kind of block that type of stuff out. You know what you're here to do, what you're here to, to contribute. So, like, me, I don't even really pay attention to what everybody else have the, the standard set for me. I just go out and play my game to get to the next step. Everybody's opinion doesn't really matter. We don't let negative energy in the building, around us, social media, anything like that. So we won't even look at what a lot of people are saying and we won't pay it no mind because that's expectation. Without, without any negative energy, how will we ever be successful? Right. So if they hate and if they feel some type of way that we're not gonna do this and that, that's fine, that's good. Because whenever we do it, then it's gonna be bigger than ever. Travis, sometimes it's nice to be able to pause and look back and see how far uh, you've come in a year. And a mm -hmm. year ago, you were in a boot at SWAC Media Day, and here you are, you're healthy, and you got a new opportunity um, in Boulder and a new team surrounded by a lot of new faces and the new guys. Where are you right now in terms of your health and the excitement and this opportunity that you feel that's right before you? Uh, right now, I'm good. I'm ready to go out there and play, go out and perform how I'm supposed to perform and what everybody else is saying they want me to do. I'm out there to exceed and just be great. For nobody that's ever watched you play before, uh, how would you describe your game? You're just a freakish athlete that can play both sides of the ball. Anything you'd add to that, Shador? Nah, he is, though. <laughs> he, he, he definitely is. And I feel like this is the first time he's actually fully healthy. So, like, then... It's just, it's just different. So the things like we're able to see and know the same, even whenever we get different coverages, we're able to think the same way and know the same thing just simultaneously. It's just amazing. So that's why I love him whenever he at receiver. But when he's at DV, though, I got I to gotta, I gotta see it. There's so many new faces 
since spring ball within this roster. How have you two guys, you've been the face of the program really since you came over, transferred in, Coach Prime got the head coaching job. How have you made sure that not only you bring them into the culture, but they get up to speed football-wise? Because as we all know, that schedule hits from jump, and you guys have to be at your best to play one of the best teams in the country. I mean, we pretty much just throw them in the fire. They got to join the loop. If you come to play with us, we move everything fast, but you got to go ahead and catch on very quickly with us. Yeah, if they know, if they know my dad, if they know Coach Prime and the rest of the staff, they know they're not playing around about that. So it's like they already got a great idea how things is before they came. You know, kids, we're going to do research before we go anywhere. So like YouTube, my brother's YouTube channel and everything like that, they're going to tune in and see what it's like. Then when they get there and see everything's authentic and nothing's fabricated, then uh, it's gonna, everything's going to be pretty natural. But when everybody gets around and just understands, like, um, we're humans too. Everybody's the same. And, and like, as my dad, the coach, you know, got to have the gold jacket and everything like that. Whenever he's getting on to you, they're going to take it in a different manner and be like, he's seen greatness. He was great before. And he still is. But he just expects the same thing out of us. Speaking of YouTube, I, I got down like a rabbit hole on you and your brother's YouTube channels the other night. I was up way too late watching all of these videos. And the thing that I, I think kept me watching all of them all the way through uh, was just the, the real bond and the joy that you have with your family. Like you can see it, your mom, your sister, your brother, your dad. How would you describe sort of that family unit? And you talk about people having opinions and thinking about they know and understand who your dad is. but it felt, at least from what I saw, so real. So how would you describe kind of the family bond that you guys have? Oh, the family bond is, is, is real, and I recognize that just sitting back looking at it from a different point of view. Like, um, that's why I use the word legendary. Everything that, that we, we've done this far has been legendary. Uh, the journey that we've been on been legendary. So that's why the word, and, and, and that means so much to, to me. And just thinking back three years ago, if we knew we was going to be in this position, we wouldn't, we wouldn't imagine we'll be right here right now. So it's just surreal, and it's just like we we thankful, and we just document it and show it for everybody else to see. Our next question comes from the audience, second row on the far right. Eric Lampkins, the second, Eric Lampkins, the second Culver City Observer. Um, Shador and Mr. Hunter, you all play with authentic joy uh, at Jackson State. How are you guys going to take that joy and bring that to Colorado? <laughs> now nah, to bring the joy is just playing loose and being yourself. A lot of people don't want to be themselves and just be so uptight and so serious. Like the reason why I love how Tra Travis plays is because him and Shiloh is is the same is the same in a sense. Like they're gonna play around, but when it's time to lock in, they're gonna lock in and still and still be human like that. So they everybody's focused, but it's just not overly like to where it's it's it's, it's not good for you. So that's just how everybody just bees herself. And uh, if somebody's getting bombed during, the, during, the, during practice or anything like that, we're going to tell them during it and like just shoot them straight on how it is. And then they're going to respond to it or they're not. But everybody that's at Colorado now, they're going to respond to it the right way and challenge each other. We got another, we got another question here in the far right on the back. Gentlemen, Kevin Turner, Sun Devil Radio Network. I just, uh, just a question about what life is like now in Boulder, Colorado, and everyday life on campus. Are you guys fully integrated into on-campus life? Are you online? And kind of what, what's, you know, a day in the life like on campus for, for both of you guys on that beautiful campus? Well, when it's sunny outside, it's amazing. You see everybody laying on the nice green grass, just, you know, sunbathing and stuff like that. It's like, I ain't never seen this before. So it's just, it's just a different moment. And just seeing, like, the mountains and stuff in the background, it's just, it's just different. The food's amazing each and every day. It's great. Um, campus is just cool. I'm just happy we're in, the, we're, in, we're in a location to where we're separated from the world, I say, to where we have a little bit of everything, but we don't have too much of everything to where it'll be a distraction. So that's why I enjoy being in Boulder, and I love it there. Back row middle. Will Decker, LA Football Network. We know you guys as the two faces of CU coming into this year with your dad's new era starting for the Buffaloes. Who are some of the teammates you guys have seen in practice that have excited you and give you optimism that this team can really take it to the next level this year? 
for sure, Xavier. I'll, I'll say I'll say the receiver. I could I don't, like me personally. I'm biased, so I only speak on the receivers, you know, and and of course the old linemen. But I speak on the receivers because those are guys I spend uh, the most time with because that's the hardest position to really like get a cool, genuine connection with. Uh, I'll say Xavier Weaver, Jimmy Horn, Javon Antonio. I'll say Marion Miller, Adam Hopkins. It's a lot. Like it, it's just hard to name everybody, but those guys they. It's just it's just different ha being able Travis on offense. You got Jimmy. You got Zay. It's like I got so many options. Like I don't know what to do. It's like what car I want to drive today. Who who I want to throw it to? <laughs> Especially when everybody's out there at the same time. So it's just I'm just real excited. That's it. And Coach Lewis out there calling it up too. It's man, I'm just real excited for it. I went on the defensive side. Travis, you see any guys that have stood out? I've been on the defensive side for real, so <laughs> I'm really I'm really with Shador. The offense, the receivers doing a nice job. Defense is gelling a lot faster than us because they meeting and getting their plays down fast. So Yeah, de defense defense is different. Our offense, you everybody in here, you know how Coach Sean Lewis offense is. Um that type of offense is a trial and error thing. Mm -hmm. You go, you got to work the kinks out. You got to – everybody got to see everything through the same lens. So that's why I feel like uh, offensively, that's why I got to have a better relationship with all the receivers and stuff so we actually spend more time and be able to see things out the same exact lens. You guys come back here next year potentially for media days. What do you hope that we said about the Colorado's 2023 team? <laughs> they did what they said they was going to do. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Okay, I got one more for you because we only have a minute left here. When I was going down the YouTube rabbit hole, are you really not going to do a music collab with your dad? Are you not going to give him that opportunity? Uh, see, I don't know because I'm going to drop a song soon. So <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't really know if I'm going to drop one with him or without him yet. It just depends on, you know, how, how he is on a song. If I feel like it's kind of like it's not my speed. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm like the management. I manage everything. So if I feel like it's not my speed, then I ain't going to let him get on it, though. Okay, so Good. stay tuned. I got to give you credit. Yeah, I, it's just because just he's Coach Prime and your dad doesn't mean that he just automatically. Yeah, that's the thing. It, I, like, I'm no automatic you verse, huh? Yeah, it's no automatic <laughs> verse, you know, because just because he's my dad, like, he's still got to earn it, you know? <laughs> Keep him humble. Keep him yeah. humble. Yeah, All right, well, we call that a tease in the business. So we'll, uh, we'll stay tuned to your YouTube channel and see if there's a new collab. You guys, good luck this season. We're looking forward to Thank seeing you. the 2023 Colorado Buffs. Media Day continues. We'll be back after this.